Now let us discuss outputs and locals in Terraform. Uh, if you compare outputs with any traditional or scripting language, output is nothing but the written, uh, written value. For example, when you create VPC, you want to know what is the VPC ID. Um, if you create EC2, you want to know what is the public IP address. Usually we go to the console and then uh, refer there. But instead of referring inside the console, we can get it uh, as an output when you create the resource. Now let us see how to do that. I have created 06 section. Here you can see. Here I have uh, copied provider.tf and then we have vpc.tf. So this is our VPC. If you wa I want to know what is the VPC ID when the resource is created. Just refer the Terraform documentation. Terraform AWS VPC. Here, there will be a clear uh, section called attribute reference. Arguments is what we are passing to create for the resource and then attribute is what we get after, create, after, after creation of the resource. Okay, argument is while creating the resource, attribute is what we get after creation of resource. Here, if you want to get ID, then you see you have to use ID. And the syntax is you declare output and then you want to uh, you just give what is the name of your output and value should be your resource type dot what, what is the name of the resource and then what is the attribute you want. Now let us see here, I will give output. Now I want VPC ID, VPC ID and then value should be resource type AWS underscore VPC dot. What is my name of the resource main dot the attribute name will be ID. If you want ARN, you have to give dot ARN dot ID. Now let us see what happens. Terraform in it. Terraform, let us plan it. You see output, no after apply. So let us apply Terraform, apply, auto approve. Now we got the VPC ID. It is VPC hyphen some number. Let us verify this in console. VPC 0B96, VPC 0B96. So this is how you get the output values. For example, if I remove dot ID here, let us see what happens. You got all the attributes available for this VPC. Okay, you see you got all of these values. If you want a single, you need to use dot, that attribute name. If you want all, you need to give, you know, you don't need to give anything. So that's it. So this is about output. Let us discuss locals now. When you compare uh, locals with traditional programming or scripting language, it is like the temporary variables you create within the function. Okay, here in Terraform, usually we create locals at the top of the file and you can use it anywhere inside the Terraform folder. Okay, we have few uses. 
and one is like if you have a value used in the file uh, single time or multiple times you can declare it inside the locals and use it and you can have some expressions also inside the locals you can use it that expression anywhere okay so now we will see the use case one by one for example i have vpc here i have tags instead of writing the tags here you can create locals and then you can have it here vpc underscore tags just create these tags here and you can use these tags anywhere within this file using just local dot tags if you have another resource in this file you can use it there also local dot tags okay now let us see terraform plan Okay, sorry, this is VPC underscore tax. Now you see we got the tax from locals. So this is one use. Another use is generally we combine locals and variables. If you see here, these two tags are like common for any resource in your project. Project and environment will not change for ELB or if you have any resources here like EC2, these two are same. Only thing changing here is techy-vpc that is only for this vpc.tf. Now let us combine this with variables. Usually we combine locals with variables. Create one variable like project level tags or common tags, common for any resource in this project. And then what are those common tags, project and environment? Default. So these are the common tags. Now inside VPC, what you need to do here is remove this and then here, give tags you need to merge variable dot common tags and then local dot vpc underscore tags okay at any dot tf file what i did now is i extracted the common tags and in vpc dot tf I maintain here the tags only useful for this VPC and then I merge these two tags. Now here you need to use vpc.tags. Okay, now when Terraform looks this, it goes here and it will fetch the common tags from variable and it will fetch the VPC tags from here and then it will merge both. Now you see, it fetched it. Okay, so this is how we use locals. We, more than this, don't overutilize. Terraform also wants not to overutilize locals. It may cause confusion while reading the code for other developers.